And thank you so much for the question. We go now to Victoria in Buffalo, New York, uh, listening on the live stream here. Victoria, we have you there with us. Hello. Hello, Victoria. Your question for Jimmy. Um, so when I was in sixth grade, I was learning about the creation of the Earth. Mm -hmm. And we learned about the Big Bang Theory. Uh -huh. I had a question about how the first atom was created. Okay. Well, um, according to modern scientists, the first atoms were not actually present at the moment of the Big Bang. Instead, what was present was um, energy, and energy can take a lot of different forms. Um, very quickly, as the early universe expanded, the uh, different particles of energy that existed, like protons and electrons, began to attract each other because uh, protons are positively charged, electrons are negatively charged, and opposite charges attract each other. If something is positive, it's like the poles of a magnet. You know, sometimes if you hold two magnets one way, they repel each other, but if you hold them the other way, they attract each other. And in the same way, uh, whenever you have two particles that have the same charge, like two protons, they're both positive, then they want to push away from each other. But if you have something with an, a positive charge and a negative charge, they attract each other. And so after the Big Bang released all of this energy into space and space began expanding, you had the different particles of energy, the, the protons and the neutrons, begin to attract each other. And soon you had some of the electrons that are negatively charged orbiting around protons. And the first atoms came into existence. And almost all of those first atoms were hydrogen atoms. A hydrogen atom is just one proton and one electron. And so the very first atoms came from the uh, particles of energy in the early universe clumping together, kind of the same way that our solar system came from bits of matter clumping together. Well, the first atoms came from bits of energy clumping together. And we got uh, uh, the first hydrogen atoms, and then a bunch of the hydrogen atoms would clump together and make stars, and the stars would get so heavy that they would compress hydrogen atoms together and make heavier elements. And then when the stars reached the end of their lives and blew up, they'd release all of those heavy elements out into the universe, and some of them would clump to get, start clumping together again, and that's how we got planets like ours. Okay, Victoria? Mm-hmm. All right. Very good. Thank you very, very much for the call.